This is all for free. Can you believe all of this is for free? In this video, I'm gonna show you the best five video editing apps for free on your iPad. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna start off with the original iMovie. This is the OG iMovie. I like this app. However, there are extreme limitations. So keep on watching and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and create a project. You can let iMovie create the movie for you just using Magic Movie. You can also do storyboard, use beautiful templates to easily create your videos or movie trailers. Now, we're not gonna use those features right now. We're gonna go ahead and create our own movie. So let's go ahead and add some media and create this movie. Here we go, we've got our movie. Now this is what I don't like about iMovie. It's really prescriptive. There is only one aspect ratio and that's 16 by nine. If I go over here and I try to change it, there's nothing for me to change. I can't change the aspect ratio. It is a nine by 16. I shot this on my iPhone when my mom was making some nice chicken korma and I wanted to just record this. It's a five second clip. But for me to make this 16 by nine, I need to click on this, click on the small pinch to zoom and pinch this in. Now that creates my 16 by nine frame. So it's really prescriptive. This is where it really starts falling apart, but there are some benefits to iMovie. For example, I can use picture in picture. Now picture in picture is a premium feature in some of the apps that I'm gonna be showing you. Right here, it's free. So let's go ahead and add it. So if I go to videos here and I go to recently added, I'm just gonna go grab something here and I'm gonna click on the three dots and now I can do picture in picture. That's gonna add it as a picture in picture. Click on this. Well, I need to select it first, move it where I wanna move it. I can pinch and zoom, make it smaller and bigger. I can even crop it. So I can crop in to this video. Okay, I can crop it in and I can add a border or take away a border. So picture in picture is free on this app, which is very awesome. I can go and go to my files and I can grab a music file that I have saved on my file. So I can go ahead and add this in. And now I've got a music file, which is added for free, no ads, no nothing, and it's there. But the, here's the thing though, you can't really tweak so much in iMovies. There's a lot of limitations, there's no effect, there's no um, special animations, it's really quite limited. If I click on this video and I wanna go add a filter, I can only add the filters that they've prescribed to me. I can't add my own custom filter. So I'm done with this app. Let's go on to the next app, which is so much more better, and it's gonna be Filmmaker Pro. Now there's a lot of premium content here. I'm not interested in the premium content, so let me get rid of that and create a new project. It's gonna ask me, do I want it horizontal, vertical, square, Instagram? I'm gonna go with horizontal. Go ahead and grab our chicken my video. I'm gonna click on media video and photos, and I'm gonna press on this button here. That's gonna open up my media library. I'm gonna go and click on this five second video and press done. So you can see that this is nine by 16 or what we know as portrait mode. I want it landscape, so I want it 16 by nine. If I click on this and I go to crop, then I can change my aspect ratio. So I'm gonna do 16 by nine, press on the tick button and it converts it to a landscape video. So the benefit of Filmmaker Pro is that a custom video adjustment layer is free. So if I click on this here, I can go ahead and make an adjustment. I can change the brightness, the contrast, the saturation. Let's go ahead and do some of that. I'm gonna increase the brightness here, increase my contrast. White balance seems fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and press on button here. So it's changed. I've got a custom filter on here now. I've color graded or color corrected this to what I like. Now here's the issue with this app. Now I don't wanna pay for music, I wanna be able to add music for free. So that stinks. Also, if I wanna add stickers, I need to pay for it. So stickers here, if I go to animated stickers, let's say uh, you know, I wanna add this here. When I go to share this, hey, you've got some premium features in use, go ahead and get, get the premium version of the app. So I am done with this app. Our third video editing app is Video Leap. This is an awesome app. There's certain features in Video Leap that I wanna use that are really, really awesome. So remember, these apps come with pros and cons. You just need to figure out what it is that works for you. Here we go, go ahead and add it to the project. Again, you can see that this is portrait, I want it landscape. So I'm gonna to go to the canvas and I'm gonna to go to the format. I'm gonna change this to 16 by nine. It automatically zooms into this. Now I also have the manual adjustment for free. So if I click on this, then I can go to adjust and I can change the contrast, the exposure, and the UI is really tuned for touch inputs. Uh, one thing I don't like about this is it doesn't respond to my spacebar. So a lot of the apps you'll see that I can you know, I'll be able to use my trackpad to go back and forth, but I can also use the spacebar here. The spacebar doesn't work, so which, which is a bummer because I use that quite often. So I want to add a freeze frame here so it just pauses. We can focus on this and bring in a title, but the freeze frame is a paid for feature. 
ah, that's a bummer, man. There's another app that I can use to add a freeze frame. Now, before I get onto that, I wanna show you a couple more things on Video Leap that are pretty awesome. Stickers are free, so I can go ahead and add a sticker. So here we go, we can add a sticker here. There's loads of stickers, by the way, so I'm really loving this. And I can search for a sticker as well. So if I type in here, chicken, to complement my chicken korma, let's see what we get. Woo -hoo! we got some chickens here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this little chick and then I can add this chicken, pinch and zoom. Remember, it's really nicely done for like touch input. I really like that about this app. So check it out. I've got my little animated chick, boop, boop, boop. And I can extend this as well so the animation carries on. So stickers are free. That's fantastic. Video Leap does a great job with uh, stickers. The biggest problem with Video Leap is this. We can add effects like the fisheye. This effect is free, I can use it. But the problem is layering. I can't layer on top of the video because it's a premium feature. So I'm gonna to have to start the trial. Now, I'm not interested in that, so that's gonna bring me to my next video editing app. Now, Vlo is awesome and it has so many pro features in it. So we create a new project, grab my chicken korma. I was, remember I was talking about before about pressing the space bar? This app works really well with scrubbing and pressing the space bar. If I scroll through, you can see all of these different layers. So let's go ahead and add some background music. I can bring it from my file, so I can import my custom music file. I can also do things like sound effects for free. Grab some sound effects, and you can, I can import them from the file again, which is fantastic. But I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a bell and a siren. Siren, so a school bell here. Let's just download this, and then I can add it. So I'll click on it, whoops, and just add that. So I've, you, I can add sound effects, I can add a voiceover, and I can add music of voiceover. Chicken korma. So there you go. Okay, check this out. Chicken korma. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's go grab a title first and look at the titles. They have animations, so I like this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one here. Mint cocoa. Of course, this is not mint cocoa. This is chicken korma. Color picker, and I could choose some of this chicken flavor. Look at that. Limitations with this app, picture in picture is a paid for feature. Sound effects from file, surprisingly, is a paid feature. Um, manual video adjustment is a paid feature, which is a bummer, which takes me to my next app, which is InShot. This is so awesome, it almost feels as if this was meant to be on this iPad. So we're gonna go ahead and create a video file. Let's go ahead and grab that chicken korma. And here we are. I can do loads of things. Check this out. I can. I can color grade this or color correct it using RGB. So check this out. If I go to filter, I'm gonna to go to adjustment and then look at the curves. I can focus on a particular color group. So the reds, I can manipulate just the reds. So look at this. I can make this more red. Let's go to greens. That totally threw it off. But you know what? That's, that's, looking, that's looking juicy. And then the blues, if there's any blues in here, I can manipulate the blue color as well. Um, I like that. I like the fact that there is a lot, there is a lot here to customize. I can add layers on top of this video file. So let's say I want to add text layer, type in here chicken korma. That's looking good. There we go. We've got a wiggle. I can do picture in picture with chroma key. So check this out. Uh, a picture in picture. And I'm going to add this comment thing here and I'm going to chroma key it. So let's go ahead and chroma this. It's going to ask me where do I what, what do I want to take out the green and I'm going to move this to the corner here. In fact, let's make it a bit smaller. Move it here to the corner. So you can use green screen effects and chroma them out. There's video effects with keyframes. So check this out. I can add some video effects. If I go to filter, I can do effects. So I can do a glitch effect, a uh, noise effect, TV effect. So I'll do a glitch effect for free. I'm going to move this to the front. So really, really good for you know, touch import. And also, I can do this with the trackpad as well. Yeah, I prefer to use the trackpad, to be honest. So I've got my glitch effect there. Let's go ahead and play it. There's loads of stickers, by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a sticker here. And I can layer these stickers as well. So I'm gonna put a sticker there. I can add another sticker. So let's go ahead, add another sticker. And let's see, can we, wow, I like that one, wow. So this is looking a mess, but don't worry about that. I'm just showing you what you can do with InShot. There's so much that you can do. I can also, if I go back to sticker, I can do a detail. Now a detail is an effect. Look at this. 
Can you see what's happening with this? This is an effect, it's a video effect. I can change the strength of the effect as well. Okay, look at that, woo! It's a blurry effect, okay, or magnifier. You can do a triangle effect, you can do a dot effect. So let's do this blur effect and watch what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna keyframe this. This is all for free. Can you believe all of this is for free? Add a keyframe, click on that, add my keyframe. And then if I move a bit over here, add another keyframe. And now with that keyframe, I'm gonna reduce the strength of this uh, effect and press on yes. So check this out now. And so if I wanna play this, it starts off blurry and it comes into play and then I've got all of this text moving around. Oh, did I mention I can add music for free? Music, I can add my music. I can just bring it in from, import it from my own files. So check this out. I can use this one. That's from my own files. And look at this, look how easy this is. I can pick it up, move it, split it, and then delete this. All of this, what I've shown you is for free. I'm gonna press on that and I'm gonna export it just to show you that I can. I can choose up to 4K and then I can go ahead and save this. That's all for free. Five apps, thanks for watching to the end. That was awesome. Go and check these out for yourself. You don't spend a penny on this. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one.